There's this story of how a church woke up one day and 600 Muslims in their neighborhood came running to pray with them, running to ask them that they want to be born again. And it was shocking. It wasn't just random unbelievers. It were Muslims, core Muslims in their area. And they had to go and meet God and ask God, what is going on? It's not like we changed our prayer schedule. It's not like we heightened something. And then God told them 600 years ago, somebody prayed for the salvation of 600 people, something like that. And 600 years after, the prayer is answered. What does that tell you? That prayer never wastes. Now, there are prayers you will pray and forget. Heaven does not forget. There is no spiritual exercise that is a waste. It's just that they have different times with which their rewards show. So I want to introduce you to a concept called prayer investment. There is such a concept as prayer investment. Just the same way we have kingdom investment. You can invest prayer in your destiny. You know, there's a level of food if you don't eat, you'll still be hungry. But however, there's a minimum demand of food that you can take for it to be adequate. Yeah. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? That's the requirement for your sustenance. There is also a prayer requirement for your destiny. God's will is not going to come to pass because it's God's will. It's going to come to pass as an aftermath effect of the prayer investment that is made upon that destiny. This is the problem with multiple destiny and the reason for the crash of many purposes is that very few people are willing to pay the price to invest adequately the prayer demands of their destinies. Are you meeting the prayer demand for your destiny? Before you say my life is not working, it's a question you need to answer. There is no form of authority in any kingdom without a prayer price. If you like, say my own is career. That one does not take prayer until you meet the devils in that career corridor. It's a requisite amount of prayer it takes for your destiny to show up. But I need you to know that when you pray, don't be so answer conscious like you are investment conscious. Some people stop praying because what they prayed about, they didn't see. A man with investment consciousness will say, even if I'm not seeing the result, I'll keep topping up. Why I'm bringing all of this talk is to value the place of prayer investments. That the prayer you paid 10 years ago eh, is still speaking to now. What some guys doing in reserve is that there's a level of fuel your car will have to start is a problem. In fact, it may not start at all. Why? It's not like the car doesn't have what it takes to start. But that the fuel demand that the car is making is more than what is provided. That's what's happening to many destinies. You're trying to drive your destiny with less amount of fuel than required. Second example, your phone can know video when it's low, Abby. The moment you open the camera, it, it will tell you that charge it before you can do this function. There are even softwares that will not open because of battery power. Eh? Uh -huh. There's a requisite amount of charges that you are supposed to bear to execute that function. You will not execute it until you make the investment to the battery so that it can pilot that function in that phone. Some of us are like that. We are operating like dead phones. Some things are working, but not everything is working. Some things are functioning. You are living right. You can do some tiny, tiny things, but when it comes to advanced functions, that's how we are. We are all softwares in the spirit. Are you getting me? Wired to perform certain duties in the kingdom. But the moment there is not enough of the charges required to function optimally, your, 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 your spirit is crying. Low battery, low battery. So what to do is take it and plug it to current and the phone will begin to function optimally. That's why you stop praying, you stop seeing visions. When you start the praying, your eyes opened. The function ceased because the charges were vacant. Some of us may never arrive where God has sent us to or the future that God desires for us because we don't have the energy level to drive us dead. Some of you, your head is breaking, managing a unit. Eh? Manage the whole church first. The emotions and complexity, dexterity in human behavior. Then when you say, Lord, take me to the world, you know what you are praying. Because you are a reflection of a container. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that every time people drink from you and say, Amen, they tap from you. They reduce your value. They will suck you dry. That's why God is not allowing them to come yet. You can't feed them. They will empty your storehouse. 
many of you what is happening is that people are meant to partake from your overflow some of you they have dried you half you are so supplied you have entered into Ikabor there is some weakness inside of you because you are supplied more than even you need the full cup is what you need the overflow is what they can take so you see that there is work even for you to be full is a challenge so how do you feed a generation that's why men of God will be shocked that at a point no gen the generation is not interested in them again eh? because they stopped overflowing but the people kept drinking they drank and drank Oga went dry. When they strode, nothing came out. They strode, nothing came out. They changed pastor. You can't afford to be empty. You can't afford to just be like that. You must be ahead of a generation to lead them. Can you, you, you have the destiny that should be eating a bar, corn, plantain, and you are sucking milk. Praying milk prayer. Milk. Functioning cannot come alive. Just imagine what happens. You take a hose that you connect to get water from a major tank and put it in a, a glass of water. Some of you, the people coming to drink from you are coming with a host. Their hunger is solid. You will say receive the anointing and it cannot drop because what they carry is heavier than what you are bringing. There, there are ministers that used to shock you when you started. Now they are talking and you are wondering what used to shock me those days. What happened to you? It's the same you, the same face, the same look. But something has happened in your head that nobody is seeing. Do you get the point? And the same man that used to bless you now bores you. Why? You kept on growing. The man stopped growing. Don't blame yourself. Change church. Or else you also stay there. Do you understand? You can't be heavier than your teacher. No, 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 no. That's why there's room for growth in the spirit. None of us is stuck. Do you get what I'm saying? There is room for everyone. And mind you that you are in front does not mean overtaking is not allowed. Are you getting my point? Some people are coming at the back. Somebody is somewhere in church studying. Somebody is somewhere in church praying. One of these days, you will speak in tongues and they will perceive that you are light. 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 And you will need to go for more. But there are others that some days behind, they were weak. They were weak. They were poor in spirit. They had no fire. But they kept eating. They kept investing. They added one level to another. And suddenly you say, I raised her when she came to church. Uncle is not like that. She has overtaken you. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm talking to someone here. You are hungry for more. Express yourself a little. Express yourself.